Hey y'all, welcome back. So, I wanted to try some new stuff with you guys and do a little review. So, for my Macari this month, I bought a couple things, which I'm going to do like a whole video on everything I got. But one of the things I got was the Natasha Denona Star Palette. So, I know I've said this like a hundred times, but if you are on a budget or just don't want to spend so much on high-end makeup, I do highly suggest using Mercari. Now, you want to shop smart. Um, I did a video the other day where I was trying to show a product that was selling on there. So, hopefully, this photo actually goes in and doesn't screw up. But this palette is normally $169, which is crazy, almost $200 for a palette. I got this for $86. And what I do and what I suggest a lot of people do is sell makeup you aren't using. We all have makeup that we're not using. Now, if it's like four or five years old, you probably shouldn't sell it to anybody. But all my products are less than two years old because I just started really getting into makeup at the beginning of last year or the year before, I don't remember. But um, this palette I got for 86 bucks. So I sold a bunch of makeup so I could buy it. So for me, that's justifying it because you can do that. You can sell your makeup and then get some awesome makeup. So this is the Natasha Denona Star. I know some of her palettes, like you can pop things out from the back. This one you cannot, but half of it is more cool tone and half of it is more warm tone. This is all I have on my eyes today. So uh, actually it's not. Um, so I went in with the shade right here, which the girl who sold it to me, she told me like she accidentally cut out the names, which doesn't bother me at all but some people it does so I went in with this shade this shade and then I went in with my Marvelous Moms which is in my shot my stash this month and use some of that pink because there's not really like a mauve pictures online are really hard to kind of decipher what the colors look like so I as you guys know or may not know I had gotten the mini star I sold it because I didn't like it so I wanted to get uh, more cool tone Natasha Denona because I love the gold palette. I will say using it this morning only a couple shades I feel like I like the gold palette way better than the star um, I was kind of disappointed because I felt like this one was gonna be a lot more cooler tone Which there are only like maybe like two or three cool tone shades like this pink I don't know what you would consider that um, but like this gray, this brown is more neutral. Um, and then obviously like the purples and pinks are more cool tone. And then I, for the shimmer, I went in with this one. So I'm going to show you some swatches. So like I said, I don't have the name, so I can't tell you. But I'm going to do my normal like rub one, two, three and show you that way. So those are the first three shades and there they are on my arm. I'm gonna do hand swatches because I feel like it's easier for me to kind of show you guys. Um, arm swatches are just really difficult for me. Just be warned, I have eczema if you're new. Um, so my hands are really like dry and cracked and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I was put on medication for a while, but the medication that they put me on, you can't be on for long term because it has serious side effects. Um, and I, the first week, so this is a little eczema update. The first week I was on it, the side effects were intense. So I like was not sleeping at all. Um, so... You're supposed to take like three pills a day the first week, two pills a day the second week, and then just a pill a day the last week. And so the last two weeks I was fine. My eczema was like gone. I wasn't having any itchy skin, no cracked skin. And he, you know, my doctor told me, hey, it's going to come back and it may be worse than before. So um, if you have eczema, you know, like you have cracked hands, your hands are really dry, they're itchy. You get um, blisters and the blisters haven't come back yet, but my dry skin is crazier than ever so anyway um 
I have some like dryness right here, but hopefully it's not too distracting. But those are the three shades. This shade right here um, was in the mini star and it definitely looks a lot pinker on my hand than it did in that palette. In that palette, it looked so much warmer, so much more coppery. I did not like it at all. So here are the next three shades. I guess this one is a little warm or a little cool. So that's good. And the thing, it looks like a brown, but on my hand, it looks a little more purple. So those are the next three. This shade was also in the mini star and I feel like it's a lot more intense in the big, the big palette. So that's one thing to note is her mini palettes from what I've heard and what I've experienced myself. Um, here's the next three is her bigger palettes, just like, um, Pat McGrath are better. So with Pat McGrath, they just don't have the special shades. So those three up there are the last row and that one looks uh, like a neutral brown, not too warm, but also not cool. So the next side is the cool tone side. And that shimmer is like, um, you guys saw my gold palette review. Um, those shimmers are very soft. So you have to be kind of careful when you're using them on the eye. So that middle shade is that pink. Um, this one is more of a topper, but as you can see, like it still has some shimmer. It's just not like bam shimmer. So that, those are those three colors. The difference I think between Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona with the small and big palettes is Natasha Denona's formula is different in the big palettes than the small ones. Pat McGrath is the same, but you're not gonna get those special shades. Those special shades, like the, what you would call like a baked shimmer or a baked glitter. These are the next three shades. Um, those just aren't available. So yes, her big palettes are not as good. And there's that one. So that purple definitely is a lot lighter. But what I've been told or what I've seen um, is you just build it up for more intensity so that is it built up and then I'll build up like this um, maroon shade which I like that these have to be built up because you can decide how opaque you want it to be so I don't I don't know if I like Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona better here are the next three um, I just feel like they're very different and I like them for different reasons. So those are the last shades. So I already rubbed all the swatches off that hand. So don't worry about that. But here is the other half of the palette. So I really liked how it performed. I was not mad about it. If you are wanting full pigment right away, I don't think this is the palette for you. I really wanted to get this palette because I wanted more transition colors by Natasha Denona. Let me grab my gold palette. So my gold palette, like when you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, there's totally transition shades. But like even the lightest shade on my eye, there it is right there. It just, it's too dark. I don't know how to explain it. Um, this is Aria, but like that is it built. Hold on, let me do this somewhere else and that is the shade and it looks light enough but it's not I don't know how to ex <laughs> I don't know how to explain it any better than it's just not like this is the second darkest shade and it is so dark and you guys also have to remember I am so pale so pale so um a lot of times what happens is in this kind of lighting it kind of brightens your eyes so it looks a lot lighter and then you go in the bathroom or go outside and you're like oh my makeup's a little dark today so that's definitely not what you want um from 
your shadow. Um, if you, if you are a woman of color and you want to splurge that gold palette, I mean, it's perfect for anybody, but you just have to go on like with a really light hand if you're pale. But if you're a woman of color and you have money to splurge, please go get that gold palette because it will look so pretty on women of color, like so pretty. And not that this one won't look gorgeous on women of color. You just have to. Ooh, my nail into that. You're okay. But um, one thing I will say about this palette is women of color can totally use it. You just have to build up some of these colors. But um, this palette gets messy quick. Because this one, this one is like my gold palette with the topper shades. Like these two right here, if you just kind of rub a little, it kind of gets messy. But this one, I feel like it's a little harder pressed, so it's easier. But you do get like that really pretty shine. So overall, I do like it. It's not as cool as I thought it was going to be, so that's kind of sad. But I have two more products that I want to show you guys and test out. I did put highlight on today, but it looks like this side of my face is kind of worn off. I don't know why. And then I also got the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is the shade Marshmallow. They just extended their line, and I decided not to wait for it to come to Ulta. I think I may get the shade Cream Puff and see if that one works better because this one looks a little light. But we are going to try it. So I'm just going to put that much. As you guys know, I don't normally put this much. So I wanted to do kind of both ways and see. They say this is like the Tarte Shape Tape, except more hydrating. So my preferred method to apply concealer is with a dry sponge. I feel like it works the best for me, but I'm going to use a brush on the other side. This is everybody's like holy grail, like since it released last year, so I wanted to try it. So yeah, it is a little light for me, but I can just use it to highlight the face or um, mix it with my Maybelline. So that's what it looks like. I'm super excited because I'm hoping this is a concealer that I can use and it will set itself. So obviously I'm getting a shit ton more coverage with a brush. I don't like how it looks at all. So I'm gonna blend that out with my sponge. I like sponges because it does soak up the product so you don't have so much on your face. So here's what I look like. I look a little crazy because it is so bright. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take like a nude blush to kind of like make me look normal. So I'm just using my Lancome Sheer Blush in, what is this called? Sheer Amrouge, Amrose, however you say it. So I got the Natasha Super Glow on Mercari as well. I think I paid 26 for this and it's normally 38. So this is the shade Fair. And that's what it looks like on the hand. And then swatched. So it looks like it's gonna be a good color. And I've heard this is super, oh yeah, she is blinding. Oh boy, that is a pretty highlight. That's what I'm saying, Mercari's the best, y'all. So we're just gonna pop this, and then I'll show you guys like kind of what I do during the week. Um, obviously I can't have a popping highlight, so I just take whatever um, beauty blender I use for my concealer and foundation. I honestly like go back and forth with beauty blenders and brushes for my foundation. Most of the time I start it with a brush and end it with a beauty blender. 
And then for lips, I think I'm just going to go in with one of my new products I got, which is the Tom Ford Ultra Shine Lip Color. And this is the shade Luscious. I love this lipstick. I, I just love how glossy it is. The packaging is freaking beautiful. And I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, that was the new products we were trying out. Obviously, I got some new hair color. I love, I do this hair color all the time. Um, I try to only dye my hair like once a year and then it kind of fades and turns into that color that you guys saw before because red stays in your hair forever but um yeah so new hair new me yeah <laughs> yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really appreciate you watching and yeah see you guys in my next video stay blessed wherever you are and I hope you have a great day or night